Hello friends, welcome to Spectrum Academy. Today we are going to discuss one of the very important topic from semester 2 engineering mathematics and the name of topic is numerical integration. In that we are going to discuss trapezoidal rule. So step 1, look at the formula. Trapezoidal rule, integral a to b f of x dx equal to h by 2 times, it is y0 plus yn plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus y3 and so on. <coughs> This y0 and y1, these are called as extreme ordinates and remaining y1, y2, y3, these are all remaining ordinates. So, formula becomes h by 2 times sum of extreme ordinates plus 2 times remaining ordinates. Now, what is this h? See, the limits of integration are a to b. So, interval a to b is divided into number of sub intervals and the width of each sub interval is h. This h is given by the formula b minus a divided by n, where this n indicates the number of sub intervals. So, it can be taken as any suitable number. If you divide this into say 5 sub intervals, n will be 5. If you divide into say 7 intervals, then n is going to be 7. Generally, the value of n is given to you in the problem. If it is not given, we have to make a choice. Look at this question, Inter integral 2 to 7, 1 by x dx, your b value is 7, a value is 2. So, what will be h? It will be 7 minus 2 divided by n. So, it is going to be 5 by n. Now, look at 5 by n, what I will take as n? Let us take n as 5, because if n is 5, then h will be 1. Width of each interval is going to be 1 width of each interval is 1, so it will be very easy to work out between 2 to 7. So, interval 2 to 7 is broken into small sub intervals each having width h. So, 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. Now, corresponding to each value of x, we calculate fx, which in this case is 1 by x. So, when x is 2, fx will be 1 by 2, when x is 3, fx will be 1 by 3 and so on. This is ordinate y0, this is 5, 1, y2, y3, y4, y5 all in a sequence starting from y0. Now, y0 and y5, these are extreme ordinates and y1, y2, y3, y4, these are remaining ordinates. So, what we can do is we can substitute these ordinate values in the trapezoidal rule. So, let us see what we get. We get integral 2 to 7 1 by x dx equals to h by 2. h was 1, so it is 1 by 2. Sum of extreme ordinates that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 7 plus 2 times all the remaining ordinates, these are the remaining ordinates 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and 1 by 6. So, it is 1 by 5, 1 by 6. We can calculate this using calculator, it is 1.2715, this is approximate value. So, I hope you understand the trapezoidal rule and this is quite easy. Next video will be one more example on trapezoidal rule. We will discuss more nitty gritty about trapezoidal rule. Till then, see ya. Bye bye.